This is a guide on replacing the front assembly on the Apple iPhone 13 mini, a 24th iPhone on this laptop screen replacement channel. If you've ever seen any other iPhone screen tutorial, you can just go ahead and wing it. This one gets even easier. For the installation process, we'll need the following tools. A heat gun, a suction cup, a plastic pick, a small pentalope screwdriver, a small tri-wing screwdriver, and a small Phillips screwdriver. The front assembly consists of the frame, the glass digitizer, and the LCD screen. You will need to replace the entire front assembly if any of these components are broken because they are sold as one part. To begin, turn the phone off by holding the power and the up volume buttons and confirming the shutdown on screen. Remove the two customary pentalope screws near the lightning connector. Use a heat gun to warm up the adhesive around the perimeter of the iPhone. The surface should be warm to the touch, but not burning. Place a suction cup near the bottom edge, and while providing some tension, insert a plastic peg between the display assembly and the main body. Move the plastic peg along the edge. Use a heat gun repeatedly to keep the glue warm. Go around the perimeter, applying some pressure to separate the front assembly from the main body. Please note, there are cables located near the left edge of the phone. Keeping that in mind, open the iPhone as a book to the left side. Now we have access to the connector shields. Using a tri-wing screwdriver, carefully remove one screw holding the first metal shield. And using a plastic pick, open the shield and put it aside. To prevent a short circuit, disconnect the battery connector. Using the same plastic pick, open the LCD connector. The second metal shield is held in place with two tri-wing screws and one Phillips screw. Phillips is not a well-known type of screw. It looks just like a usual tri-wing, but with an extra wing. You can get a Phillips screwdriver from our store at LaptopScreen.com, but it's unlikely that you'll find any use for it in the future. Remove the screws and set the shield aside. Using a plastic pick, open the sensor's connector. Separate the screen assembly from the main body. We will be replacing the waterproofing adhesive, so all of the original adhesive needs to be removed. Use a heat gun if needed. The new waterproof adhesive comes on the convenient plastic sheets cut to the shape of the edge of the phone. Remove the backing plastic of the adhesive shape. Apply the shape to the perimeter of the phone. Use a plastic pick to make the adhesive stick to the edge. And remove the plastic. Take out the new front assembly and put it to the left edge of the phone. Carefully reconnect the sensor's connector. Then the LCD connector. Replace the metal shield covering the sensor's connector. The shield has hooks. Thread the hooks into the holes and replace the odd Phillips screw. Then the two tri-wing screws. Reconnect the battery. At this stage, we can test the device. Close the iPhone and press the power button. The screen is working and we can finish the replacement process. Turn the phone off. Replace another metal shield. The shield has two hooks. Thread the hooks into the holes and secure the shield with one tri wing screw. Close the phone tightly and using a cloth, Apply some pressure to the sides of the phone, snapping the display assembly in place. Replace two pentalobe screws at the bottom. Turn the iPhone on, and we're done.